What's going on everyone? I'm Rohan, I'm a fourth year medical student currently studying at Cardiff University and we do be back again with the vlog. As you can tell, my skin is absolute dog beep. I didn't swear. Wearing a mask every single day is terrible for your skin and hence the mask knee. Yes, it is a thing. So today we're going to be on Skaboo. Yesterday I was on the postnatal ward because there was too many staff in Skaboo. I feel like I've said the word Skaboo about a million times already. Hopefully I get to take some histories from some mums and yeah, that's about all I'm planning to do today. It's currently eight o'clock. I'm on my way to handover if you follow my instagram page then you'll know that i go to handover around 8 30 so i can get changed into scrubs the rule about wearing scrubs is that you're not allowed to wear scrubs to placement you have to get changed there so i get up very early every single day do my stretching get there for 8 30 get changed and then head over to handover at nine o'clock so yesterday i did my first baby check that basically involves as you probably have a guess checking a baby and i got to change a baby yeah i changed a baby this was the first time that i changed a baby in quite a long time and i didn't get pooped or peed on which is very good so let's hope everything runs smoothly today i'm gonna get going so i don't get late like i usually am let's get into it i just thought i'd show you guys the common room what it looks like so here we go this is where i have my lunch usually and chill out with everyone let's get the hand over Right now, I've just been sent to get one of these bad boys. Opthalmoscope for the new baby checks. Yep, I'm just a little boy that gets everything. Yay. Writing up a case for a patient that I'm seeing. Here it is. I'm going to switch it on. Switch it on. Get too hot. Success. Just did my first baby check. You know how it is. I'm a G. All done. I changed the baby and he didn't poop on me. Yeah. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Let's go. thing back where I got it. Why do I have to get these things? So done. Yeah. The day is done. Let's go home. Hola, hola. Sorry, I'm still walking to the car park. Hello. Nice view. But you guys are my best view. Ah. Honestly, people want to think that there's something wrong with me. I'm just walking around talking to a camera and sound very funny right now. Very nasally. It's got to have a mask on basically. This background looks pain. How the clouds refract. How my jumper glistens in the sunlight. It's so sunny. Okay, now I'm gonna get into my car and discuss the cases that I saw today. Okay, come on. That's my cardio done. <laughs> Let's discuss the cases. Hand sanitizer. Cause germs. So let's go over some of the cases that I saw today. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first thing that I did was that I went straight over to Ward 12 as I wanna see more babies. And then they turned me away because there weren't that many babies there. And then I realized that I haven't actually been on Skaboo properly. What happened is that I went to Skaboo. Then they asked me to go back to Ward 12 to pick up the ophthalmoscope for the eyes. Then I went back to Skaboo and I helped one of the doctors in one of the baby checks. So this kid had come in. He was literally just born like the day before. Like it was so cute. Except he was pooping all the time. Luckily, he didn't poop on me though. So that's all good. So after that i went on the ward round with some of the doctors so in skaboo or the special care baby unit the ward round starts a lot later than it does usually for handover and i got to see a couple of the patients and one of the patients they've asked me to present on friday as part of their grand ward round so i don't know if i mentioned this before but every single ward has a grand ward round which is where all of the doctors come in they bring cake and they discuss patients so tomorrow i'm gonna read up about the patient i'm gonna examine the patient take a history all that good stuff and then i'll present on friday in one of the patients that I saw I got explained about skull suture lines and skull plates So obviously a baby is developing. Their brain needs to grow. In order for their brain to grow, the suture lines of their skull, so the plates in their skull, cannot be fused. If they're fused, then the brain can't expand and grow. So in this case, the kid had the plates shifted on top of each other. I put an image in here so that you know what that means because I am holding the camera in one hand. I can't really show two plates because I've got one hand. Let's see if I remember this correctly. If the plates overlap each other, then that's fine. When the brain grows, then the plates get shifted across and create a nice flat shape and then fuse to become the skull if the plates are rigid and they don't overlap each other then that's not good that's all i remember from that but if you want to read more about that then look at wikipedia i am a fourth year medical student i am not a pediatric consultant but honestly since starting this placement it's been really fun i love interacting with kids and they make me realize that i am just one fat massive child but if you enjoyed this style of content and you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as always thank you for watching let's Go!